welcome to another episode of Glorious Glow Empowerment Podcast. Today, I will be reading from chapter 2 of my book, Behind the Veil. Stay tuned. Thank you. Chapter 2 Impact of Culture, Tradition, Religious Beliefs on Mental Health Issues As the saying goes, what you see and hear depends a good deal on where you are standing. Someone may look at a glass cup with water filled halfway and conclude that it is half full, while another person may assert that it is half empty. In the same vein, the attitude of different people around the world to mental health issues depends largely on certain factors such as the culture, tradition, or religion of the people involved. Knowledge about people's culture plays a significant role in attending to mental health issues. To solve a problem like mental illness requires that the therapist gets acquainted with their beliefs, customs, and behaviors. This requires mental health care services to empathize with sensitivity to people's cultural ways of perceiving, doing, evaluating, and appreciating things. In essence, mental health care practitioners must avoid the generic approach to offering their services in culturally heterogeneous societies. That does not mean inappropriate superstitions or beliefs on mental health should not be challenged. It does mean that people with mental health issues also have their own sacred beliefs and idiosyncrasies, which have tremendous impact on their search for medical attention, especially in their acceptance of and response to assessment and treatment programs. It is quite important to take the culture and religious beliefs of people with mental health into consideration when treatment is being given. A one shoe fit fits all doesn't work with mental health. It's important to, to um, go out there, seek help, That way, the right treatment will be given instead of it being hidden and shame. There is no need for shame with mental health. It's always best to go out there, get the required help, get medication, get therapy or any treatment needed. Thank you. I do hope you've been following the series so far. It is Mental Health Awareness Week and I've decided to read extracts from my book because my book is on mental health. So I hope you've um, enjoyed listening to what I've read so far and do stay tuned as I will carry on reading from my book until Sunday the 24th of May. Thank you. Take care and God bless you. Bye.